uh, just even you brought up the trade there, uh, going into Inter Miami, and then all of a sudden, a couple months later, you hear the news: Lionel Messi is coming to MLS, and he's going to be your teammate. On top of that, can you just describe what was going through your mind when you heard that news? Yeah, they they used it as a part of the recruiting process a bit. Like, yeah, you definitely <laughs> want to come play here. We're going to get Leo in the summer. We're going to get Sergio in the summer. Uh, but you don't really believe those kind of things until it happens. We know how much Barca was dying to to get uh, yeah. Leo back. And if Leo went to Barca, then Sergi definitely is not coming to Miami. And Jordi's not coming to Miami. So it's it's pretty crazy. Um, just waking up every morning, arriving in the locker room and just seeing him sitting there. Uh, his training habits, how dedicated he is to the game, how much he just enjoys playing football. It's a real joy and has given me a personal boost that uh, the greatest player ever is in the gym and still taking care of his body and doing all the right things at 36 years old or however old he is. Then I have no excuse. You know, I really have to get on the ball and, and get it done. But overall, it's a, it's a joy playing with these guys. And I know it's still early, like uh, there's obviously going to be a lot more training sessions, a lot more games when you get familiar with them. But uh, with Messi, uh, Busquets and Jordi Alba coming in, uh, what have you learned from them so far? And what have you really taken away? Like you said before, there's a, there is a language barrier, but like what have you taken away so far of uh, interacting with them and training with them? Uh, I think more off the field than on the field. They're just regular normal guys such nice guys family men um they just love the game and it relates on the field they all enjoy football so much and maybe on the field that's what i've learned the most from them is you really just have to enjoy your football and be in a good environment to really get the best out of yourself and overall it's uh amazing to see what they do day in and day out they train the way they play they train hard and they focus every day and when match day comes they're locked in as ever the passion and the desire to win they all have 20 30 plus trophies Messi with 44 now so it's it's insane that they still have the desire and the hunger to keep winning that that's what a real winner is they, they can't turn it off it's just in their dna now final topic just on this uh inner miami uh subject here david beckham legend of the game and he's a big part of what's going on uh from the business side of the sport so what's it like uh seeing him being so invested and involved with this club it's amazing honestly it's incredible to uh, be playing with these caliber of players and then on the other side being able to call david beckham your boss it's pretty crazy um but yeah he's extremely invested um at the training ground almost every day uh working out in the gym we we get to see him and ask him questions and he's not hard to reach at all he's available and wants to be there for everyone and wants everyone to feel as comfortable as possible and yeah overall he's just developing uh an incredible dynamic here at the club that everyone wants to be a part of and everyone wants to play for so it's special for sure to uh, have a guy like david you see him right after the game, you see him before the game, and he has confidence in you and sharing a laugh. It's, it's just a special environment to be in, and, and yeah, I love it. What does it mean to you, too? Like, the management seems very approachable in Miami. Just mm -hmm. how is that for a player to have that reassurance that, you know, if there's any issue or just, like, any advice that you want to get, that management is very approachable like that? Yeah, and it's not only the front office, it's top to bottom, it's the GM, it's the coaches, it's the nutritional staff, it's everyone at the club is so amazing. We really have a, a family here. Uh, when we travel, we, we travel with a lot of people and, and it's really a, a great atmosphere. Um, coaches speaking English and Spanish, the coaches are trying their best to learn English. Us players are trying our best to learn Spanish. We're all trying to cater. To each other and I think it's showing on the field uh, the bond we have and overall it's it's bringing us success so it's amazing to see right, picking up some spanish here you got some spanish some trash talk for all the other teams coming in there <laughs> yeah definitely more on the field stuff than off the field but uh <laughs> starting some classes soon i really want to be able to 
communicate to these guys in depth and and uh, share my thoughts as well and and hear hear their thoughts as well. It's it's already getting better. Um, like I said, football is a universal language, so we all just bounce off from each other and even still find a way to crack jokes. It's it's special. Live talks exclusively on Vibe One Hundred Five.